The Prisoner is a piece that tells the story of Adnan Latif. Um, Adnan Latif was a man, one of the first men imprisoned in the Guantanamo Bay detention camp in 2002. And I wanted to write a piece about Adnan's story ever since I stumbled across his letters. He wrote several letters to his lawyer over the course of his uh, long incarceration. And um, the letters are uh, fascinating and remarkable, not only um, because of what they tell us about the conditions at Guantanamo, which of course are deplorable and serve as a kind of um, indictment um, of our whole uh, so-called war on terror, but also the letters are very uh, uh, lyrical, they're very poetic, uh, they're quite um, poignant and uh, beautiful, uh, very sad as well. And um, so I use Adnan's uh, own words, his own uh, poetry, essentially, in this piece, along with poetry from other sources, um, like Rilke and uh, uh, the mystic poet Rumi, uh, to kind of put together a, a story uh, about Adnan's uh, conditions and about his um, mental state in this prison where he remained for over 10 years. Uh, and all the evidence that we have indicates that Adnan was uh, innocent, that he was unjustly imprisoned. Uh, in fact, he was uh, went through several military tribunals and courts and was cleared for release on at least three or four occasions. Um, and each time his uh, release was uh, denied. So, as you can imagine, this um, these conditions of near daily abuse and, uh, and uh, torture um, eventually drove him out of his mind. And the letters also show his sort of descent into madness. Latif's story is a tragic one, and the piece is certainly uh, a melancholy piece. But my hope is that, um, in addition to that, that the piece perhaps points a way forward, uh, at least in as much as it tries to uh, reveal Latif's own uh, humanity, his own voice, uh, his uh, dignity uh, through his poetry. And um, in that way, not only tell a story that I think is important and needs to be told uh, about Guantanamo and about um, what we've done there, but also um, humanizes uh, and gives context.